Uh, I might as well get mine out of the way while I can. Um, I think, Nathan, um, one, of the, one of the keys of interviewing is listening, mm. right? And, and when someone comes in, you actually do them the courtesy of listening and actually being interested in what they're saying. Absolutely. But look at you. So you've got one of the ornaments of the game, right? One of the greatest blokes you'd want to meet, one of the greatest players ever to pull on a Richmond jumper, Trent Cotchin. Yep. What are you doing? You're on your phone, you rude little man. Disrespectful. What's going on? I was actually trying to find out who he was. No, no, some of the players and the matchups. I was trying to figure out a question to ask Trent. So I, I can but, see but, how but, it But also preparation really comes yeah, into true. interviews. Yeah. If, you, if you listen yeah. to Kane on SEN or Lordo, or, or um, you know, <laughs> and if you listen, and the other thing I was looking for, preparation. He actually gave us some socks called Posy socks. He came in, he owns his own business, mm. and I was looking at the website to try and find out about it, so I could ask him a question about the Posy. Well, why socks. don't you just say, tell me about the Posy socks? Yeah. You I was don't need to have to some information. Like no, but you ask him. That's all part of an interview. Yeah. <laughs> no, fair point. Yeah. Okay. Away, I'll do so it my apologise. Way. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, you're up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we saw a bit of a melee yesterday in the Collingwood game with Nick Dacos, but then I saw this during the week, and you love your ice hockey tone. This, is a, this is a melee. Have a look at the bloke at the back. I'm not sure what he's doing in the melee. So he's at the back. He's got playmakers that nobody <laughs> So they're all going, you know what they reminded me of? They reminded me of our man. Have a look at Lordo. So this is like the guy at the back. He comes in, and then he starts fighting nobody. <laughs> Where are you going, Lorna? <laughs> Very good, mate. No, what, what, what was that ice hockey oh, bloke talking about? No idea. Outstanding. What Outstanding. are you doing there, Lorna? Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love the movie Anchorman. So, just a refresher, here's one of the more famous scenes. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? <laughs> For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. So anything you put on the teleprompter, Burgundy will read. Anything you put on the run sheet, Barrett will read. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's a big noise here, that one. <laughs> uh, demo to Jimmy says this. Toby Green's still underrated. Uh, demo to Jimmy says this. Uh, demo to Jimmy says this. Uh, demo to Jimmy says this. Come on, Damo. So the moment I said that, I knew it was going to come up here. So well done. <laughs> um, TJ, it's yes. a very, very sad moment. Uh, millionaire Hot Seat has been put into hiatus. And, and this was Eddie McGuire releasing this information on um, Friday, just gone. Where are you going with this? I'm going with this in this particular way. It's a very sad day. A lot of people love that show and it would have provided you also with one more opportunity to prove to the world that you do know <laughs> some things about the world. Oh, really? Hey, beds, be chairs, see porridge, D toilets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you go for, Tony? Beds. <laughs> beds. <laughs> but I ended up going with D. Go no, Francophile. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, wrong. No. Uh, <laughs> Tony Jones bringing up the rear on two apiece. And Tony, not only getting them wrong, but you're slow as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a cloche. These people got it. <laughs> Everyone except for TJ. <laughs> Four, three, two, Aye, Eddie. A is locked in. The answer is D. <laughs> Eddie, my <laughs> Just one more go. You, you just wanted one more go, didn't you? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> well, I, well, are you? Because about six weeks ago... Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> you, this is a vision everyone wanted, TJ. Uh, and oh, around six right. weeks ago, Kane had some uh, sources out there that spotted you mm. right, heading in with your beautiful wife to Crown. Yes. And you know, I was thinking, you know, was it Silks? Was it mm. Coco's? Was it Nobu? That's was too it, expensive. Was it the Atlantic? There's a, yeah, there's a few expensive. lower ones down called Grady and a couple of others. Oh, uh, they'll be 40 knows them all. I know them all. I know them all. And uh, you bypassed every single one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, you ended up at the food court. Okay, you ended up at the food Fairly court. Okay, and, and, and we were all staggered by that that you'd end up at the food court. And but we thought exposing you would make a change. It was sort of like it was like three sixty degree feedback. We were trying to give you to go. You just don't do that, you know. This, longer, this is longer than right. his analysis. Well, well unfortunately, oh, no. at seven p.m. Oh. after you read the news, oh, no. you were spotted back oh, no. in the food court oh, no. taking your wife. So, and you nearly eat three boxes of it. And you're nearly biting off your fingers, TJ. And you're not even engaging in any conversation. Oh, get it off. Get it off. Look at your 
fingers, not even engaging in conversation. Had three just, boxes in front of you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. like we need an intervention or something like I, I don't thought know. you were on a diet. Oh. You told us you were eating healthily. <laughs> no, oh, God. Three boxes of KFC. <laughs> it was the Zinger special. Oh, 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 no. oh. Damo, what are your oh. thoughts on that? It's just it is, wrong, isn't it? It is disturbing. <laughs> and, and I know people see you do this now, TJ. Oh. It reflects yeah. upon us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me, me All having, of us. Me having a Zinger well, burger reflects on you. We asked about that during the week. Get oh, eight. It was a meal deal. <laughs> there was the potato, there was the chicken, the chips, and the zinger burger. You can order eight of them. Hey? Did you know you were being filmed? Yeah, I actually <laughs> said, excuse me, I'm about to make a pig of myself. Would you like to film it? Oh, amazing. Jeez. Amazing. You really got your finger oh. right in there, didn't you? Well, let's talk about the last time you were at KFC and you smashed up the eights. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. At least the cops didn't come. <laughs> you want to go there? No, we had a zinger burger that night. <laughs> that happened to me. Did it happen? Yes. Did what happened? Did you smash the ATM or KFC? After a final in Brisbane. <laughs> just I swim. knocked it about. <laughs> <laughs> At 3 a.m. It came out of what? <laughs> the, the cord came out. It's not about me, it's about you. Not anymore, it's not, mate. All right. Oh the cord God. came out. The cord, cord came out. The best deflection I've ever heard. Oh, oh that was amazing. <laughs>